Hello, and welcome to Read Us a Story. What shall we read today? How about Peppa Pig, The Power Cut? It is the evening. Mummy and Daddy Pig are both very busy. Daddy Pig is in the hallway, vacuuming the carpet. Mummy Pig is upstairs in her study, doing important work on her computer. Suddenly, everything goes dark. The computer switches off. The vacuum cleaner switches off too. Mummy Pig tries the light switch, but the lights do not come on. It must be a power cut, says Mummy Pig. What's happening? asks Peppa. It's a power cut, Peppa says Mummy Pig. A power cut is when there is no electricity. What's electricity? asks Peppa. Electricity is what makes everything in our house work, says Daddy Pig. It is very dark. Will the electricity come back again? asks Peppa. Uh, yes, but in the meantime, we need to find a torch, says Daddy Pig. Let me have a look in the cellar. Will you be all right, Daddy Pig? Mummy Pig calls down the stairs. I'll be fine, says Daddy Pig. I can see very well in the dark. Ouch! cries Daddy Pig. I keep bumping into things. I've just remembered. I think the torch is in the kitchen, says Mummy Pig. Yes, it's in the drawer. Mummy Pig lets Peppa hold the torch. Peppa makes a funny face. George, look at me! <laughs> she cries. George laughs. <laughs> Peppa's face is very funny. We'd better tell Daddy Pig that we found the torch, says Mummy Pig. Everyone goes to the living room while Peppa fetches a cardboard box. Mummy, will you cut a hole in this box for me, please? She asks. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George sit down. Peppa puts the cardboard box over her head. George, you have to point the torch at me, says Peppa. The television won't work without electricity, so I've made my own television. <laughs> Welcome to the news with me, Peppa Pig, announces newsreader Peppa. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. Everyone enjoys watching Peppa's television program. Suddenly, the lights come on again. The electricity is back, cries Peppa. Hooray! shouts everyone. Peppa turns on the music player. Let's dance, she says. Everyone dances in celebration. The power cut was fun, but everyone is very happy the electricity is back again. And that was Peppa Pig, the power cut. Peppa Pig. Peppa and Susie's Argument. Peppa and her best friend Susie Sheep are playing Snap. Ah, I win again, says Susie. Peppa isn't happy. You cheated, she shouts. You looked at the card. Oh, I did not, cries Susie. I don't want to play with you any more, says Peppa. Well, I don't want to play with you any more, says Susie. 
Peppa and Susie have had an argument. They are not best friends anymore. Mummy Sheep arrives to take Susie home. Peppa, say goodbye to Susie, says Mummy Pig. I am not talking to her, says Peppa. And I am not talking to her, said Susie. I'm sure they'll make up. They are best friends, really, says Mummy Pig. We are not best friends anymore, hm, says Peppa. The next day is lovely and sunny. All the children are playing at the playground. Everyone is playing with their best friend. Everyone except Peppa and Susie. Susie is on the swings on her own. She feels sad. Peppa is playing mini golf on her own. She feels sad. Emily Elephant comes over. Peppa, can I have a go? asks Emily. Yes, says Peppa. You can be my best friend. But Pep, but my best friend is Candy Cat, says Emily. Susie watches Zoe Zebra play on the slide. Zoe, if you want, you can be my best friend. Uh, but my best friend is Rebecca Rabbit, says Zoe. Zoe and Rebecca skip off together. Susie is alone again. Then Peppa and Susie see each other. Hello, Susie, says Peppa. Oh, hello, Peppa, says Susie. I think it's time you two made up, says Daddy Pig. Only if Susie says sorry first, says Peppa. Only if Peppa says sorry first, says Susie. I'll count to three and you can both say sorry at the same time, suggests Daddy Pig. One, two, three. Sorry, say Peppa and Susie together. Now you can be best friends again says Daddy Pig. <laughs> Susie, let's play mini golf, says Peppa. Good idea, says Susie. Peppa goes first. Her ball stops near the hole. Susie goes next. Her ball knocks Peppa's ball into the hole. I win, says Peppa. No. I win, says Susie. But my ball knocked it in, so I win, says Susie. Peppa and Susie are having an argument again. Ho, ho, you two are just the same, says Daddy Pig. Peppa and Susie laugh too. They realise he is right. That's why Susie is my best friend in the whole world, says Peppa. And Peppa is my best friend in the whole world, says Susie. Everyone is happy that Peppa and Susie are friends again. And that was Peppa Pig. Peppa and Susie's argument. Peppa Pig, Peppa's Tree House. Peppa and her family are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. I'm making you a tree house, says Grandpa Pig. I just need to finish the roof. Ah, finished says Grandpa Pig. And I've made some curtains for the window, hmm, says Granny Pig. Thank you, Grandpa. Thank you, Granny, cries Peppa. Peppa and George love their treehouse. Ho, ho, 
Who wants to go inside first? asks Grandpa Pig. Me! 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 cry Peppa and George, jumping up and down. Peppa climbs up the ladder. Before I go inside the treehouse, I must take off my boots, she says. Peppa quickly kicks them off and they land on the grass. Inside the treehouse, Peppa closes the door and pulls open the curtains. I'm in my treehouse! She shouts out of the window. <laughs> George, do you want to go inside too? Asks Daddy Pig. George nods. <laughs> Peppa and George hear a knock at the door. Do you have room for any visitors? Asks Mummy Pig. You have to say secret words first. They are Daddy's big tummy, whispers Peppa. Mummy Pig says the word. Daddy's big tummy. And she goes inside. I think we should have a different secret words, says Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig tries to squeeze himself in, but he gets stuck. Your tummy is too big! <laughs>, Laughs Peppa. Grandpa Pig has an idea. Daddy Pig can climb in through the top, he suggests. Grandpa Pig lifts off the roof and Daddy Pig climbs inside. Then he puts the roof back on. Peppa and her family are all squashed inside. Everyone gets out apart from Peppa. Granny, I love our tree house. I don't ever want to come out, she cries. Oh, are you sure you don't want to come visit me in my house? Asks Granny Pig. No, thank you, says Peppa. In that case, uh, Grandpa Pig and I will have to eat these homemade cookies all by ourselves, mm, says Granny Pig, heading back to her house. Cookies! cries Peppa. She runs to Granny Pig, who has a plate of yummy cookies. If you want some, you have to say the secret words, mm, says Granny Pig. That's easy! Daddy's big tummy, cries Peppa. Granny gives Peppa a cookie. I still think those are very silly words, says Daddy Pig, taking a cookie too. And that was Peppa Pig. Peppa's Treehouse. The Time Capsule. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. They are making a time capsule to show people in the future how they live. We'll put special things in this box and bury it, says Madame Gazelle. Oh, will it grow? asks Susie Sheep. Uh, no, Susie, it will remain in the ground for many years, says Madame Gazelle. Uh, now, children, what things should we put inside? asks Madame Gazelle. A comic, says Peppa. Music, says Susie. Ruff, a toy, says Danny Dog. Squeak, a carrot, says Rebecca Rabbit. What do you think the future will be like? asks Madame Gazelle. I think in the future I will live on the moon, says Peppa, and all my friends will come to visit. Ruff, and I will fly a space rocket, adds Danny. The parents come to pick the children up. Uh, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole, 
says Madame Gazelle. Everyone goes outside to bury the time capsule. Daddy Pig buries the time capsule. When can we dig it up? asks Peppa. It will remain in the ground for many years, says Madame Gazelle. I can't wait that long, says Peppa impatiently. <laughs> Madame Gazelle laughs. You're just like your daddy when he was little. Your parents made a time capsule when they were little too, says Madame Gazelle. We buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree, said Daddy Pig. The tree has grown since then, replies Madame Gazelle. Daddy Pig digs up the old time capsule. When they get back inside... It's time to open up the old time capsule. Uh, stand back, uh, children, says Madame Gazelle. Yes, Madame Gazelle, everyone replies. Oh, what do we have here? An old comic, a tin toy, music, and a very old carrot. Squeak, that's mine, says Mummy Rabbit. Squeak! What a good choice, Mummy, says Rebecca. And a videotape of your parents when they were little, said Madame Gazelle. Who's the little piggy in the glasses? asks Peppa. That's Daddy Pig, replies Mummy Pig. Oh, and that's me! Hello, future! says little daddy pig. What a squeaky little voice you have! <laughs> says Peppa, laughing. You're probably living on the moon now, says daddy little pig. Silly little daddy pig, <laughs> says Peppa. Making time capsules is lots of fun, but finding them is even better. And that was Peppa Pig, the Time Capsule Garden Games. It is a lovely sunny day. Peppa and George are playing outside with Susie Sheep. Daddy Pig brings out a large box. It is full of garden games. Here you are, he says. Susie looks inside the box. She pulls out three wooden sticks. <gasps> Juggling sticks! She cries. Watch me juggle! Susie throws the sticks up into the air. They all land on the grass. Dud, dud, dud. <laughs> Those aren't juggling sticks! laughs Daddy Pig. They are Skittles! Daddy Pig stands the Skittles up. Peppa throws a ball and tries to knock the Skittles down. Hooray! shouts Peppa. I got two! Now it's Susie's turn. This game is very hard, warns Peppa. You probably won't be able to do it. Susie throws the ball. She knocks over all the Skittles. Oh, says Peppa. George is too little for Skittles. He wants to play bat and ball instead. Peppa can throw the ball, says Daddy Pig, and George has to bat it. George hits the ball. Susie catches it. Oh dear, George is out. <laughs> says George. Poor George. He is too little for bat and ball. You just need more practice, says Daddy Pig. 
Watch me. Thwack. Daddy Pig bats the ball hard. Oops, it has gone all the way into the house. Mummy Pig is having coffee in the kitchen. She is very surprised to see Daddy Pig. Uh, can we have our ball back, please? He asks. Yes, says Mummy Pig, but please play more carefully in the future. Daddy Pig comes to play in the garden too. Oh, Danny Dog comes to play in the garden too. Daddy Pig decides to start a new game. He gets two bars and a yellow pole out of the box. What is that? says Peppa. Limbo! replies Daddy Pig. He turns on some music, leans backwards, then walks underneath the pole. Daddy Pig makes the pole lower, but this time he can't walk underneath it. <laughs> Your tummy is too big, giggles Peppa. Ruff, my turn, says Danny. Danny, Peppa, Susie and George all walk under the pole. Now we'll make the pole even lower, says Daddy Pig. Easy, <laughs> giggles Peppa. But this time, when Peppa tries, the pole falls down. It's impossible, she decides. Nobody can walk under that. The pole is very, very low, says George. He wants to have a go. Wow, shouts Danny Dog. George can do it. George is the best at limbo because he is so little. Well done, George. Well done. And that was Peppa Pig. Garden Games. Peppa Pig. Grampy Rabbit's Hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George out for the first time on his sailing boat. Hello, old bean, says Mr. Stallion. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean, cries Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend, says Grandpa Pig. Now, where did I leave my boat, says Grandpa Pig. Where, what does your boat look like, Grandpa? asks Peppa. It has a little red flag on the top of the mast, says Grandpa Pig. Like that little flag? asks Peppa. Oh dear, Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. Vroom! Grampy Rabbit zooms past the boats. What is that monstrosity? asks Mr. Stallion. Is it allowed at the sailing club? asks Mrs. Corgi. Grampy Rabbit reaches Peppa and George. Hello! shouts Grampy Rabbit. What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig, you look sad, says Grampy Rabbit. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk, says Peppa. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? suggests Grampy Rabbit. You can't drive that thing around here, says Grandpa Pig. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? replies Grampy Rabbit. So I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine. Peppa, George and Grandpa Pig bored Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft. Hold on to your hats, 
shouts Grampy Rabbit as they zoom across the sea. Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. Vroom! Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi are enjoying a peaceful day sailing. Oh, what's that horrible noise? cries Mrs. Corgi. It's that monstrosity again, says Mr. Stallion. Whoopee! <laughs> says Grampy Rabbit. Grampy Rabbit stops off at the sailing club cafe to get some juice. This is the life, eh? says Grampy Rabbit. The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit, says Pepper. There's no wind, says Grandpa Pig. Without wind, sailing boats cannot sail. Suddenly, they hear voices calling for help. It's Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. We need to rescue them, Grandpa Pig, says Pepper. Grampy Rabbit zooms towards the shouting. Ahoy there, he calls. We can't get back to the dock without the wind, says Mrs. Corgi. Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in, says Grampy Rabbit. Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft tows the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats back to shore. We're towing the boats back to shore, sings Grampy Rabbit. We're towing the boats back to the car park. Towing the boats to be parked, sings Grampy Rabbit. Now you don't have to walk so far to walk to your cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts, gasps Grandpa Pig. Grandpa Pig, who is your friend? asks Mr. Stallion. We must thank him for rescuing us. His name is Grampy Rabbit, replies Grandpa Pig. Grampy Rabbit, delighted to meet you, old bean, says Mr. Stallion. You too! Old Bean, replies Grampy Rabbit. And that was Peppa Pig, Grampy Rabbit's Hovercraft. Peppa Pig, Grampy Rabbit's Lighthouse. Peppa, George and Danny Dog are helping to deliver supplies to Grandad Dog's friend. Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? asks Peppa. Out at sea, on a rock, says Grandad Dog. On a rock, says Peppa. Yes, in that lighthouse, says Danny. Ooh, gasp Peppa and George. They land at the lighthouse. Visitors! exclaims Grampy Rabbit. I haven't had many visitors in many a moon. I get lonely with just the sea and the sky for company. How long have you been here? asks Peppa. Since Tuesday, says Grampy Rabbit. I've got tales to tell, says Grampy Rabbit. If you'd like to hear. Uh, uh, no thanks, says Grandad Dog quickly. Yes, please, reply Peppa and Danny. Grampy Rabbit starts to sing. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sigh. The sea, the sky, the sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Peppa and Danny joined in. 
Why is your house called a lighthouse? asks Peppa. I'll show you, says Grampy Rabbit. They climb a staircase to the very top. Of the lighthouse. It's called a lighthouse because it has a big light at the top, says Grampy Rabbit. It shines through the dark, helping sailors find their way. Grampy Rabbit takes out a megaphone. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn, he says. Fog! That's loud, cries Peppa. No fog today, just sea and sky, says Grandpa Rabbit sadly. The stories I could tell! No thanks, says Grandad Dog. We must be getting along. Peppa. George, Danny and Grandad Dog set off for home. It is now very dark. Don't worry, says Grandad Dog. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed, so turns the light out. He also turns the big light out. Grandad Dog Bones, Grampy Rabbit. Could you turn the big light on again? He asks. The big light shines again. Hooray! Cheer Peppa and Danny. It's getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore, says Peppa. Grandad Dog phones Grampy Rabbit. It's us again, he says. Can you sound the foghorn, please? Fog! bellows Grampy Rabbit. Fog! Grampy Rabbit's voice is a foghorn. Thanks to Grampy Rabbit, they arrive back, safe on land. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Mrs Dog are waiting to take them home. We went to a lighthouse! says Peppa excitedly. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely, says Grandad Dog. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? asks Peppa. Oh, uh, uh, no thanks, says Grandad Dog. Yes, please, say the parents. Peppa and Danny sing. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. And so was the sky. The sea, the sky, the sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. And that was Peppa Pig, Grandpa Rabbit's Lighthouse. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, be sure and like the video. And remember, you can always subscribe to the channel at Read Us A Story. Thanks.